Hi guys, after long long waiting, the GNG company at last introduced new gearbox type, the G2. In both of these replicas, TR16 MBR 308 SR and TR16 MBR 556 WH, yes, I am reading this because it's obviously a lot of numbers and letters. Anyways, in both of those guns, there are this type of gearboxes. Now, I'm just gonna say that we will do separate videos about both of these replicas, so if it's not inform enough information for you, you just wait. Uh, we're gonna do it for sure. And now I would just like to load them up and do some shooting because how it shoots uh, reassembles how it works. Alrighty then, so we've got 7.4 LiPo battery inside. The magazine is loaded with BB, so let's go. Semi-automatic and it's dead, except it's not. Look, miracles do happen. And it stops. It stops shooting and it feeds all the BBs. If you put empty magazine in, it will not be shooting. So let's reload this one, because that's the only one I've got at the moment. It holds 40 BBs, by the way. All right, so. Semi. Full auto. And again, it stops shooting. Let's check out the 556 magazine with BBs. They go in. That is totally safe. No, there's nobody there, <laughs> just by the way. Okay, and it's dead. There is sometimes one BB left, but at this moment it feeds all of them. You can also use typical AR-15 magazines for this one. For example, this standard high kappa, but when it's empty, it will not stop shooting. Now, how it works, you will understand when we show you the gearbox. So, let's tear them apart. Okay, so, here is the gearbox from 308 series, here is the gearbox from 556 series. As you can see, they are very similar, but there are small details, small differences, that make G2H not fit 556 replicas and the other way around. Now, we cannot compare this one from 308 to anything else because this is brand new gearbox from GNG, but we can compare 556 with standard GNG 556 gearbox. The next difference is ETU unit. This is the new one, this is the old one. As you can see, the old one is almost twice as big as the new one, so that leaves you more space for your batteries. Worth mentioning is that the new one also has a small speaker that will inform you about the programming of the replica. It's very fashionable these days to have quick spring change, so the new gearboxes offer that option. Although, you need to take the gearbox out of the replica, but still, it's very comfortable. All right, let's start with the hardware. The new redesigned bevel gear makes the replica more smooth, quieter, and there's less power consumption. This small plastic element holds the wire on its place to prevent tearing up. Small, but fun. The new cylinder head with two O-rings, of course, the cylinder head is made of metal and has this small GNG logo on the bottom. The nozzle is, of course, made of aluminum and has two O-rings. Last but not least, the piston with whole steel teeth. If you're a fan of tuning up your gun, that replica is for you. Okay, the gearbox is open, so we can take a closer look to this lever that makes this replica more realistic. When it's like this, the replica can't shoot. When you put the magazine, the lever push on the sensor and then the replica is able to fire. If you use original magazines from GNG that have this small black thing here and the BBs are in, the small black thing is pushing the lever. The replica is able to shoot. When the BBs are gone, the small thing is hidden and then the lever drops and the replica stops shooting. So easy. We will do the chrono test with 0.2 GNG BBs and 7.4 LiPo battery. Oh. 
Okay, so new G2 type gearboxes by G&G are more durable, more efficient and more reliable and realistic in use. So, for sure, those replica can compete with the biggest boys on the market. If you would like to see more about those replicas separately, watch our other videos. See you next time.